in order to prove the concept for you, if you had something like this scenario, it would have balanced it off. If you had like a $26 and 1820, it would have deducted from 1300. And as a matter of fact, you can prove the concept by clicking on the total and it shows exactly that you are paying a lot less because you're returning some. Now, happens that I don't want to continue with the last line. I just wanted to prove the concept that you could buy and you could return at the same time. If I remove this entirely and go back and confirm my purchase order, I'm going to go back and do a negative receive, which is equivalent of a deduction. So let's go back to the receive, click on a product receipt. I call it credit note number one. If I click OK, this actually generates packing a slip for me. And as a matter of fact, if I go to the product receipt journal, you notice that on the lines, you have indicated that you have received negative 50 and negative 35. That means you return them back to the vendor. At this stage, the inventory transaction is changing its status to deduct it. You have literally deducted it from your warehouse. If I go and click on an invoice, I intentionally want to print this and I call this 